Hey, so what I got here is a test to see if there's a basically a magnetic impulse without a recoil. So the bottom line of what I'm trying to do here is to see if something like this, this principle, can be used for propulsion in space with uh, no um, <clears throat> no gas ejection, no propellant, and that sort of thing to to be used to propel a vehicle. So. So what I've what I've made is this um, type of electromagnet. So the idea is that all of these windings, when they are powered up, all of their poles will be facing each other. So they'll be, they'll be in repulsion here. So there'll be a kind of like a a, a magnetic monopole in the ax through the axis here. So it'll be all the same pole on the inside. And what I have in here is a little stack of these neodymium magnets that are in rough shape. So there's going to be some friction issues here if these slide through this not so perfectly smooth plastic tube. So they're going to sit here at the bottom and then be ejected out this way. That's the idea. And I'm testing to see if there's going to be any recoil on this whole assembly. Um, I've tried something with uh, permanent magnets and what I found is it's hard to tell so it's kind of inconclusive whether there is a uh, recoil. With the permanent magnet assembly um, so I have it set here on the scale uh, like it's gonna be hard to show on the camera here show everything at the same time I'll do my best though um, now due to the nature of these coils here uh, they, they're about 30 ohms resistance and I tried to pulse them with my battery but uh, they don't provide enough voltage to really give enough of a punch so if I were to ever make this again, I'd use thicker gauge wire uh, to get more current through those coils at a lower voltage. So. Windings of thicker wire would improve this. It's pretty wimpy right now. Here's my Star Cruiser and suspended on thread here. So let's see what happens if we have a, a net force or net impulse acting on it. Net impulse. It's going to do that. Okay, so. I'm going to pump uh, 160 volts from this cap into here. So it's going to give it a good a good punch. Here we go. reverse the magnet because I'm not sure if it's repelling or attracting in there so okay there we go One more time. Oops. That was the wrong direction, but it almost looked like there was a bit of a, I'll slow the camera down. 
do a little replay there. Okay, one more time. Yes, there is a bit of a thing here where the weight of the magnet does that. I'm going to try something else. So the magnet is right here on that end. So let me try reversing it and I'll put it right, right on the end, whoops, right, right there, right at that very end. That looked like it was oscillating a little bit back and forth. This looked interesting though. Oops, right there. I want it right there. Here we go. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to try something a little different. I got a stopper on the end there. All right, I've reversed the magnet and it's at the same position as it was in the previous test. So it's at this end here. Okay, so I just moved the magnet from this end to this end here, as you can see. So same thing, except I reverse the polarity of the magnets. Let's try that one more time. Hmm, okay. 
So I just move the magnet stock to this end again. Same thing, reversed poles. Magnet is right about here. And I think that's enough tests for this at the moment. Any other ideas, please post in the comments. Thanks guys. So I wanna do a quick test with this uh, other little scale here. 500 gram capacity, similar to what I was doing before. So here we go. The magnets should jump up here. Just a second here. All right. So it's at 0. Uh, one more time. These wires here are screwing up the focus. All right. So the scale saying minus zero point two. Let me just see if I can zero that out. Minus 0 0.05. It looks like it went negative. Hard to tell as fast. All right, a little different setup here. Got this on here. See what happens. One, two, three. thing one two three I'm gonna try reversing the magnets okay magnets reversed one two three I just remade this launcher which I made a previous version before so these are all uh, poles are all in repulsion here pushing against each other throughout this whole assembly so um Now this is, oops, this is an attraction here. Um, I can push.
push that through with the, the nylon rod. Now there's a little bit of resistance here. So it wants to stay right there. Now there's resistance and then there's a point where it just suddenly switches right about here. So where the magnets are almost at the opposite end. You can see them there. And then they just boom shoot out. Now if I put this in so there's repulsion here. So there's repulsion, repulsion, repulsion. And then suddenly just gets spat right out of there. Not bad. It's got some kick to it. Now it's almost just kind of pulling it right at this point here. It's just starting to pull. It wants to pull it in. Now, if I go the opposite, so this thing shoots out. Now notice how it gets stuck right there. Now this is important. This is a very interesting mystery here to me anyways. See it's actually wanting to stay there. But over here, over here see it's pushing against my finger. So repulsion, and now it's just starting to pull. Now I'm going to go back exactly opposite here. So there's attraction right here. It's being attracted. So that's what I found strange, that even though there was attraction on this side and a little bit of repulsion here, it still ejected the magnets quite a far distance, like there was a lot of kinetic energy there, relatively speaking. Boom, so it just wants to go shoot out. It's like that attractive force doesn't even have an effect on it you'd think that it would what I would think it would do based on conventional understanding is that it would just oscillate back and forth until it comes to a place of equilibrium here like this it would just kind of hang out here right it would just kind of bounce around a little bit but I find that there's Almost like the poles switch at some point in order to eject it out with such high velocity and not slow it down. It's bizarre. So, and what I'm trying to figure out is if there the um, the balance of kinetic energy or the conservation of momentum. How does the conservation of momentum work in this situation? So when I hold into my hand and do the same thing, I don't feel any recoil. It's barely, barely noticeable. Now I'll do it vertically. So 
We'll see how high the magnets go. So there's enough energy there for it to go through that attractive zone and of course lift its own weight against gravity which is over this stack of magnets is over 20 grams so yeah any thoughts comments please please leave them and uh thank you for Thank you for your interest and your attention and please subscribe and uh, like and all that stuff you're supposed to do on YouTube. Thank you.